just painting the uh, the trousers on these guys with. Cerulean blue, and um, I've just noticed down. Um, if you ever paint these yourselves, by the way, you might want to look out for this. It looks like a line of flash down the side of the trouser. Um, I was already to get the scalpel and emery paper out when I realised that that's actually going to be very useful as the stripe down the side of the trousers. So I'm going to leave it at that and it's going to give me a nice little guide for doing the, uh, the stripes down the side on the outside of the trousers. So it may, I'm not sure if it's by design or accident but um, that's going to come in pretty useful. So I'm going to get onto the jacket stage which I'm going to, I've changed my mind from that one because it's not dark enough so I have moved to Prussian blue which I think is something I use quite a lot it is slightly darker and it looks it's got that sort of antique look about it to me whereas the Tharlow blue is a bit um, a bit too bright so I'm going to go for the Prussian blue instead for the jackets and then lighten it up and I'll probably use the Prussian blue for the jackets of the French as well so a very versatile one you can see I've got quite a lot of it there 60 milliliters so more than enough so why not use it use it as the base and then lighten it up so that's what I'm going to do so Prussian uh, sorry Hussars Hussar carrying on Huzar for Huzars. Carrying on, getting there, starting to taste shape very nicely. So the next clip you'll see is when I put on the Prussian blue. Okay, see you later.